Hey, thanks for the comments in the last video. I read them all over. So, this new B-21 stealth bomber. Have you seen this? You ready? Ta-da! There it is. Oh, wait, no, that's the old one. This is the new one. Well, if you like the old one, you're gonna love the new one. Because the new one's just the old one. Oh, I'm glad you like it. You bought it. Again, 500 to 800 million dollars each. All right, all right. So this plane is here to replace the aging B-2 stealth bombers. Aging, you might ask. Have we even used those yet? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Well, the article linked down below says the old B-2s cost around two billion each. Obviously, over proposed budget. Unlike this one, I'm sure. And the U.S. Air Force only ended up buying 21 of the old B-2 b stealth bombers. Just 21. They were so complex, they needed so much maintenance that only nine of them could be combat ready at any given time. All right, all right, so that may not be as bad as it sounds. You know, these are very complex machines. You wouldn't want them all sitting there, right? They're not cars just sitting there ready to go. You're like, you want people working on them and taking them apart and servicing them. So, okay, maybe that's not too bad. So, what does the U.S. Air Force want here? Well, they say that they want 100 new bombers, not just 21. So, they want them at a lower cost. Oh, well, that's good. The U.S. government finally says, you know what? Two billion dollars per plane is a bit too high. Can we get those a little lower? You know, the people that spend $50,000 on a hammer, they say two billion dollars for just one plane is a little bit too high. Now, the good news is the Air Force insists it can build the B-21s cheaply. I know they were over budget on the original B-2. Uh, they're just a little over budget on the F-22 and just kind of over budget on the F-35, you know, but that's the Navy's fault. But on this plane, they can really do it. I mean, they're serious this time. And they're serious about you forgetting all those facts of the past. You know, typical cockiness on the front end and then befuddled blame gaming idiots on the back end. All right, well, here's where there might actually be some hope to that. So get your thumbs down button ready. Now, because they are actually building off a previous plane, you know, almost embarrassingly so, right? There should not be a whole lot to do, right? <laughs> In business, they say you don't really make a profit until your third generation of a product. And you know, boy, have I found that to be true. So you figure the Germans proved this flying wing design in WW2. The Yanks got it down in the 1980s with the B2. And now here comes version three. Okay, that could work. An example of that, I was talking to a friend who does engineering in Boeing. And he said, you notice how all the new Boeing airliners and Airbuses, they all look basically the same, like compared to the ones in the 60s. It's because the designers in the 60s freaking nailed it. They can't make a passenger plane look better, look different from the old one. Because, sorry, it's, it's the same map. Yeah, they, they can make it, you know, add computers, make it lightweight materials, some silly wingtips on it, sure. But overall, that's the numbers that work. It could be the same idea here. When it comes to long-range stealth with, you know, XYZ payload and, and all these numbers that they have to have, there's probably only a certain number of ways that they can do it, you know, really just one. So crunch the numbers all you want, you're just gonna end up reinventing the wheel all over again. So because they're not starting over with a brand new radical design, that might end up being a good thing. But I don't know, I'm just an internet armchair idiot like yourself. Now, as more of these articles come in on this B-21 bomber, uh, if you would, post them down below the video here. Uh, and for now, let me know what you think of all this. And honestly, you know, all joking aside, uh, how do you feel about all this? Are you, are, you, are you proud to be American or are you feeling a little bit ripped off? You know, I mean, myself, a little bit of both. It's it's great to see the technology of what we're doing, what we're capable of. It's, you know, it's a lot of money for them to spend and then, uh, you know, turn around and tell us they already spent it. We still got a little bit of freedom left. Tell me how you really feel. Down at the bottom of this article, it says, Tempting fate, the Secretary of the United States Air Force went on Facebook to ask airmen to give the B-21 a nickname. <laughs> All right. Most of the initial responses were sarcastic, if not downright mocking. Some suggested Batleth, the curved Klingon blade of Star Trek lore. These nuts was another suggestion. Like, what else did the Secretary of the United States Air Force expect was going to happen on Facebook?